Why? Why does this location have so much gold? I've covered quite a bit of ground in Iowa and this is the richest location I've ever panned. And I've been here a number of times. But I wanna know why? Why is it so rich here? My plan today is to work my way upstream to see if I can kind of find out where the gold is leaching into the river. Obviously, every spring the river floods, brings more gold, and it just stops at this location, probably because of the geography. But where is that gold coming from? That's what I really want to find out. I'm Matt. This is Midwest Midas Mining. Let's go. So my friend Ty from Iowa Gold Prospectors showed me this location. Uh, all credit goes to him for discovering this location. And as you can see, he and some other miners have been uh, mining this pretty hard. And I don't blame them because this ground is really, really rich. What we're gonna do is work our way back that way to see if we can find the, the source of this gold. Is it coming out of the hillsides? Is it washing clear down river from upstream? Is it just a matter of all the gold that's in the river during flood times just happens to fall out right here and it comes from all over the place? I may never know that, but I hope to find a little more information on where this gold comes from. So I've ventured upstream uh, down there, probably about a hundred yards or so. That's the main diggings. Uh, that's the really rich area. And I've come upstream and looking along the riverbank, I can see this deposit of river gravels here embedded in the bank. Now that represents where the river used to be a long time ago. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of soil on top. There's tall trees up above. So what I'm gonna do now is take a sample of this and see what's in there. Like cement in there. Oh. Find a nice spot along the edge here to pan this out. At least there's no ice in the water at this point in the river. There is at some points. So the search continues. So now I'm gonna try digging at the base here in this area here where the river water has washed that old material out of the bank and it's allowed all the heavies to collect in this spot. See what that looks like. So this particular dig hole also had no gold. But what I find is interesting is the black stand and the ironstone, the shape of it, the amount of it is exactly the same as what you see when you do a pan over there on the rich ground. So I just need to find out where's the gold. So we've got the heavy rocks and the heavy black sand, but where's the gold? All right, so I've walked probably a good 400, 500 yards upstream from the main digging location. And I'm not quite out in the middle of the river, but somewhat close. Uh, there's some good gravel here. I'm gonna try digging there. I'm gonna work my way closer to the bank where there's some much bigger cobble. All right, so this hole produced two pieces of gold. So I finally found some gold. If you've seen my video on how to find the ribbon of gold, that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna go perpendicular to the I'm gonna go perpendicular to the flow of the river, digging holes spaced somewhat evenly to see if I can find where the heaviest concentrations of gold are. For hole number two, uh, I moved a little bit closer to the center of the river 
here. That pan had no gold. I'm gonna move a little bit closer to the bank now. All right, I've been at this a little while. Let me recap. So here's the hole uh, closest to the center of the river. Move along. This was the first one I dug, had two specks. There's a lovely big boulder there. I dug right next to it. Um, that had two tiny specks. I moved over here. This one had three small pieces. And then this last hole I dug here, getting very close to the bank, uh, had four pieces, but they were all very small. And what I want to do now is there's actually a place uh, downstream that I passed by on the way up here. Uh, I want to go check it next. So I was going to venture back downstream a little ways, check out a spot, and I still want to check that out. But I started to head um, upstream here, and I was looking at the ground here, and that's nothing exciting about this. It's just kind of some small cobble and some light wash sand. Uh, but the further we travel upstream, the bigger and the thicker the cobble get. And it starts to look just like the really rich spot downstream. What I want to do is take a test pan down there. If you're at all finding this video educational or entertaining, please hit that like button. Thank you. So here's the spot I was talking about. And this area looks almost identical to the rich ground downstream. And I took a pan from over there. Maybe you can see my shovel sticking up over there. Anyway, I'm going to show you the results. So I counted maybe nine or 10 pieces in there. They're not very big, but still it's gold. And I'm thinking that this entire section here is feeding gold to that spot downstream, which due to its geological irregularities, just happens to be a spot where the gold just always drops out of suspension and collects there. As always, make sure you watch clear to the end of the video because at the very end of the video, I will show you all of the gold that I have found today. So for the next hole I dug, I slid a little bit closer to the center of the river, right here. And let me show you the results. I am excited about that. There was a nice chunky little bit in there. I'm gonna continue exploring this gravel bar. As far as the mystery of why is that spot downstream so rich, I, this spot may be just as rich. And it may just be that this entire area is loaded with glacial gold. All right, so. Here's the spot where I found the, that nice chunky bit. I just moved over a few feet towards the center of the river and I found maybe nine or 10 pieces, but they were all very, very small. So I'm gonna go back that way a little bit and see what that produced. So I dug a little pin right next door to where I had that nice piece. And this is the result. So I'm liking this. I am having a good day out here. Um, somebody's cutting down some trees over there. Uh, can I definitively say 
where all the gold's coming from on that rich deposit downstream. I think so, yes. I think it's this rich deposit on this rock bar, this gravel bench here. Um, does that really answer the ultimate question? No. But I do believe that this whole area that's being carved out by the river uh, is just rife with glacial gold. And this is just a really good spot. Do make sure to stick around at the end. I'll show you all the gold that I got for today. And hopefully it'll be a lot. Um, I'm running out of daylight here. Curse you winter hours. Anyway, uh, thank you for joining me on this adventure today. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.